Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number two of season three NASCAR Walmart Cup Series. Hi, I'm Levi McIntyre, a.k.a. Thrashmaniac99, the voice of NASCAR Walmart Cup Series, here to welcome you here to the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. We are getting ready to go racing for 51 laps here at Rockingham, UK, one of my favorite racetracks to go to here on the uh, Walmart Cup Series schedule. It's a mile and a half track. Very tricky at times, but once you get the hang of it, you can do really well. The only issue these drivers seem to have at this track, and it really, really gets under my skin, is that whenever they come down pit road, some cars will hit the angled pit wall instead of turning down to the left where it's plenty of room. We've seen that done in many race during the many races we've had here so far as well as other races and other series like the NNSCRA it's been done numerous times hopefully this time around we won't have too many of those though I can't expect promises but the uh, current uh, point situation heading into the second race we've only gone through one race Michael Norman won the Daytona 500 and he leads by six points over both Chase Oliver and rookie Anthony McCurry, eight points over Cody Lamas, nine over Larry Hagan, and then to finish it up, ten points ahead of Biggie Spencer. So four rookies in the top six in the point standings. Ladies and gentlemen, here's a look at your starting lineup for the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. I'm so sick of living such a fucking miserable life I'm overlooked even when I'm the only one in sight I can't believe I've let myself be so goddamn mistreated If you stuck a fucking knife in me, I'd apologize for bleeding I am fiending for a reason to not just give up Because quite frankly, I'm tired of giving any fucks I'm down on my luck, I'm stuck in a proverbial rut Between the thought of suicide or girl while choking on my nuts And so I shut myself out, keeping myself on clouds Thinking if I stay high enough, I'll never touch the ground well, here I am, face down, right on the pavement, and I'm the only person here that deserves any blaming, and so I'll save it, record it, put a beat to my anger, I hope the bass breaks your fucking face, call this shit a banger. Well, there's a look at your starting lineup. Top three is rookies. Anthony McCreary on the pole, Cassandra Renzi second, Eric and Rage third. All those three drivers are rookies this season, but here we go. Boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go racing, boys and girls. <laughs> and already we're seeing some pretty aggressive racing going on up at the front. Three wide for second with Cassandra Renzi, Eric Enrage, and Ian Dutta. Meanwhile, Anthony McCreary handling his car really, really well. And now Ian Dutta is going to go into the second position now. Meanwhile, Cassandra Renzi started second. She has fallen all the way back to right around, I would guess, the 6th or 7th position. Let's see where she scored this time. She has scored 7th, just like I said. And Anthony McCurry led the first lap, so he will get an extra bonus point for leading a lap. That is crucial for point standings purposes, as he... At this moment, he would be the points leader once this race would be over, if it was over right now. And the caution flag is out for the first time as McCurry, we got a battle for second, but Ian Dutt is going to get that spot. Let's see who was caught up in this. Oh, points leader Michael Norman was in there. Michael Norman's gotten into an incident, so too is Cody Hagen. Zachary Fitzwater's towards the back. Looks like the incident happened off of turn one or so. But it looked like a three possible three-car incident with 
Cody Hagen, Michael Norman, and Zachary Fitzwater, possibly. Meanwhile, the field got stacked up a little bit from Chase Oliver making a last-minute decision to not come down pit road. Meanwhile, back here, Henrietta Fitzwater is sort of thinking the same exact thing. As we try to go around through the cars, there is Zachary Fitzwater. It looks like he is coming down pit road. As I see a tiny buckle on his hood and some rear end damage, but other than that, he is pretty much good to go. But let's see if he's going to hit that pit wall. Now he's smart enough and drove it to the clear left to avoid the wall. As we go back up to the leader which is Anthony McCreary. So far, he's led every lap. Let's take a look at a replay to see what brought the caution out for the first time today here at Rockingham, UK, as points leader Michael Norman might have been the reason this caution came out. Well, here's a look at what happened. Look up ahead at the 47 of Zachary Fitzwar and Cody Hagen. They are racing side by side, and right around there, they go four wide, and Michael Norman comes up in front of Michael Walden into Fitzwater and Hagen, and they all go for a spin, and Hagen and uh, Norman actually both hit the front of their cars up against the outside wall. Let's actually go to the helicopter cam and uh, take a look at this again. It's going to start when Walden and Norman try going four wide. Walden gets in the Fitzwater and into Norman and then up and Cody Hagen was just a passenger in that. So I think Cody or uh, Michael Walden should be held responsible for that accident as he tried to stick it in between Michael Norman and Zachary Fitzwater and he gets in the Fitzwater and as that happens he gets down into Norman and then they both slide up right in front of Cody Hagen, and Cody Hagen right there in the 11 was just a passenger in that situation. But meanwhile, that is the replay as to what happened and what brought the caution out. Let's go ahead and take you to the restart. Well, after that uh, first caution, we have one car out of the race, and that is the Daytona 500 winner and points leader, Michael Norman. Tough break for the, day to the, for the uh, Daytona 500 winner, but Anthony McCreary is your leader. Second is Ian Dutta. Third is Chris Washer. Fourth is Eric and Rage. Fifth is Charles Jackson. Sixth is Cassandra Renzi. Seventh is Chase Oliver. Eighth is Jesse Setti. Ninth is Austin Weiner. Tenth is Trent Dunham. Then it's Eric Burden, Larry Hagan, Ken Thero, Seth Cole, Rue McIntyre, Alex Hawkins, Biggie Spencer, Alex Pedro, Nick Pericles, Sonny Hammond rounding out the top 20. Then it's Kendall Maynard, PJ Williams, Kyle Matthews, Matt McIntyre, Jordan Culp, Dylan Thero, Jessica Sheldon, Henrietta Fitzwater, Dylan Young, and David Rivera rounding out the top 30. Then it's Justin Talampas, Jekko Knight, Brandon Nichols, Cody Lamas, Ian Siegel, Jesse King, Ryan Anderson Jr., Michael Walton, Gabe Williams, and Zachary Fitzwater rounding out the top 40. And the last car in the field is Cody Hagen. Meanwhile, we're getting set to go back racing with about 45 laps to go here at Rockingham, UK. And now, here they go, off and running. Anthony McCreary got a decent jump on that restart, but Ian Dutta had a great restart right there, and now he's going to look to try to get a move going to get underneath of Anthony McCreary, and there he goes right there to the bottom. Whoa, McCreary got wicked loose right there, and now that's going to open up the door for Chris Washer to make a move and make some noise up at the front. As it's going to be three wide for the lead, and is the caution out? I thought I saw the caution lights. Now we are still green, and Chris Washer didn't lead that lap. It was actually Ian Dutta who led the lap, and now look who's up here now. Charles Jackson. We got some interesting veteran slash rookie in McCurry, even though McCurry's a legend in the community. 
you can pretty much say we have four veterans racing up here and the caution flag is out once again. And Washer's going to have the lead. Let's take a look at who was in this. Cody Hagen's in the back. Looks like it. Oh, wait a minute. Cody Lamas was involved in whatever this was. In that Duck Commander or Buck Commander Toyota. It looks like it had something to do with, with uh, Cody Lamas. Because I don't see anybody else damaged or slow on the track. Although Cody Hagen was slow, but that's because he's not up to speed. Chase Oliver is like making swerves at everybody by decide thinking of coming pit to pit road or not. But nonetheless, Chris Washer is your leader. Let's take a look at a replay to see what brought the caution out for the second time today here at Rockingham, UK. Well, here's a look at what happened. Cody Lama's racing with Justin Talampas. He comes up into the 34. The 34 gets down into him and forces the 15 down. And, wow, he got into that inside wall pretty hard. And then right there he caught the edge of that tire wall. And that's what caused his car to pretty much rip apart and cause the engine to expire. And, wow, Cody Hagen does a good job of avoiding that 15. While it was a one-car incident, he took a pretty good hit into that tire wall. And that is a tough break for the 15 team of Cody Llamas. And there you see the leaders all coming by to take the caution flag. But ladies and gentlemen, that was a look at what happened as to what brought the caution out for the second time today. Let's take you to the restart. Well, after that last caution, only one other car has gone over the wall. And that is Cody Llamas. So tough break for that 15 team. But Chris Washer is your leader. Second is Anthony McCurry. Third is Charles Jackson. Fourth is Ian Dutta. Fifth is Cassandra Renzi. Sixth is Eric Enrage. Seventh is Chase Oliver. Eighth is Austin Weiner. Ninth is Eric Burden. Tenth is Trent Dunham. Then it's Seth Cole, Rue McIntyre, Larry Hagan, Jesse Setti, Biggie Spencer, Alex Hawkins, Ken Thero, Alex Pedro, PJ Williams, Kyle Matthews, the top 20. Then it's Nick Pericles, Kendall Maynard, Matt McIntyre, Jordan Culp, Dylan Thero, Jessica Sheldon, Sonny Hammond, Dylan Young, David Rivera, Ian Siegel, the top 30. Then it's Justin Talampas, Henrietta Fitzwater, Ryan Anderson Jr., Brandon Nichols, Jekko Knight, Gabe Williams, Michael Walden, Jesse King, Zachary Fitzwater, and Cody Hagen rounding out the top 40 and the field. As we are getting ready to go racing once again, this time with 39 laps to go here at Rockingham, UK. Still got a long ways away. We're not even at the halfway point already. Two cautions. So far, it's been an interesting battle up at the front among drivers, but here we go. Green flag is back out. Anthony McCurry didn't get going on that restart, and now that's going to help for Charles Jackson to make a move to get to the second position. And he's got the bottom, and he's going to get around. Whoa, McCurry gets very, very loose entering that turn when he's up on the high line. And now here comes Ian Dutta into the picture, and also Cassandra Renzi. Meanwhile, Chris Washer has pulled away from the rest of the drivers and now he's going to lead this lap and we are still green thankfully meanwhile Charles Jackson's gonna try to run down the 24 for that lead although Washer I think has a slightly faster car than the 19 and we are still green. So far, this has been the longest green flag run this entire race. And we are still green. So two laps green, that's good. And actually, while we're at it, let's take a look at how the field currently runs right now. Is Chris Washer's your leader? Second is Charles Jackson. Third is Cassandra Renzi. Fourth is Anthony McCurry. Fifth is Eric Enrage. 
Six is Ian Dutta. Seventh is Eric Burton. Eighth is Trent Dunham. Ninth is Seth Cole. Tenth is Larry Hagan. Eleventh is Rue McIntyre. Twelfth is Austin Weiner. Thirteenth, Chase Oliver. Fourteenth is Biggie Spencer. Fifteenth is Jesse Setti. Seventeenth, or, uh... 16th is Alex Hawkins, 17th is P.J. Williams, 18th is Ken Thero, 19th is Alex Pedro, 20th is Nick Pericles, 21st is Matt McIntyre, 22nd is Dylan Thero, 23rd is Kendall Maynard, 24th is Kyle Matthews, 25th is Sonny Hammond, 26th is Jessica Shelton, 27th is David Rivera, 28th Jordan Culp, 29th, Henrietta Fitzwater. 30th is uh, Ryan Anderson Jr. Now to 29th. Oh, contact with Talampus and Henrietta Fitzwater. Meanwhile, 32nd, or at least he was, and now 30th, or 31st is Justin Talampus. 32nd is Dylan Young. 33rd, Henrietta Fitzwater. 34th, Brandon Nichols. 35th, Ian Siegel. 36th, Jekko Knight. 37th, I think. Let's see where Gabe Williams. 36th, Gabe Williams. 37th, Jesse King. 38th is Michael Walton. 39th, Zachary Fitzwater. And then 40th, I know, is Cody Hagen. There he is. Meanwhile, Charles Jackson starting to run down Chris Washer for the lead as he had a two-tenths of a second faster lap than Washer that last time. This time only three one-hundredths faster. But Charles Jackson trying to run down Chris Washer. And Charles is trying to get his first official NASCAR Walmart Cup Series points win. He won his only race he's won in Walmart Cup competition. That was a non-points race was the Talladega Chase LCQ race last season to make the chase. Other than that, he has not won a points race in his entire Walmart Cup Series career, and he ran five hundredths of a second faster than Chris Washer that last lap. He is now right there on the back bumper of that 24 car. Meanwhile, we go back to third, and it's Anthony McCreary in third. Look how separated the two different packs of cars are. And meanwhile, Jackson's trying to get a run in on that 24. Let's see the lap comparison. Almost a whole tenth of a second right there for Charles Jackson. He's right there on the bottom. Jackson right there. Oh, he gets in a little bit in the washer, but he had to back out of the throttle because he didn't want to slide up and wreck washer, and that's going to cost him a lot of valuable time on washer. That was somewhat a costly mistake for Charles Jackson as he out outran three tenths of a second to Chris Washer due to almost getting into the 24 and now he's going to try to make another run in on Washer. And so far I've noticed no pit stops have taken place yet. I've got to wonder when will these cars end up having to come down and make a pit stop. But in the meantime, let's take a look at the lap comparisons. Jackson was about a half a tenth quicker than Washer that time. So he's obviously trying to run him back down. Meanwhile, we've got a new driver in third place, and that is Cassandra Renzi, as she somehow got around the 61 of Anthony McCreary. And now Cassandra is now up to the third spot. And then, then that last lap, almost a whole tenth, Jackson cut off of Washer's lead. Jackson is trying hard to run down the 24 cars. We have been green for about ten long laps. This has been great. After two cautions, we've been clean and green ever since.
Meanwhile, Jackson, that lap, actually lost a little ground to Washer. Washer was actually about almost a whole tenth faster than Jackson that time. Meanwhile, it looks like they're going to get ready to approach the 11 of Cody Hagen here at any moment. So this could be help for Charles Jackson as well as other drivers to potentially get up to the front. Meanwhile, Jackson was almost a whole tenth faster than Washer that lap. And now here they are coming in behind Cody Hagen. What's going to happen with this? Jackson's getting a huge run on the 24. Wow, look at the margin he cut. And now he goes to the bottom. And now Charles Jackson has taken the lead from Chris Washer. And now they're trying to get around Cody Hagen. And it looks like they will. And Washer trying to make another run at him. But Jackson is your leader at the halfway point here at Rockingham, UK. Or a little past halfway, but you get the drift. Wow, th three and almost four tenths of a second. Charles Jackson was faster than Chris Washer, but Washer trying to go on to the bottom to try to get that lead back. And I see a car on pit road. We got some pit stops taking place. I'm trying to look at some of the cars in pit road to make sure nobody hit the pit wall and got wrecked. Now, it looks like they all got through pretty clean, so that's a surprise. But battle for the lead rages on again with Chris Washer and Charles Jackson. Washer is now back up to the front. So while pit stops are taking place, these two are still battling for the lead, but you got to think these cars, these front runners, are going to have to come down pit road at some point. Jackson and Washer are just really, really going at it here, but let's see if they're going to come down pit road this time. Washer's not, but here comes Charles Jackson in the pit road. We got to keep an eye out on him, and he goes to the left. Anthony McCurry hasn't come down pit road yet. Meanwhile, doesn't look like we have had any cars get into that pit wall. Let's actually take a look and see if anybody is out of the race after anything and it doesn't appear although uh, David Rivera is two laps down first we're going to keep an eye out on Chris Washer and Anthony McCurry before we double check on David Rivera Washer gets through good and McCurry does a smart move and no Rivera is actually still on track he was just caught a couple laps down I guess from a slow stop but Washer and McCurry the last two to come down pit road are now in pit road, and there you see Charles Jackson. You got to keep an eye out on him to make sure that if he got out of the pits faster than Washer did, then Jackson could be your new leader. <coughs> but then again, who knows? <coughs> well, he's gotten past McCreary. And Washer's heading into turn two. So is Jackson. Jackson's going about 10 miles per hour faster than Washer. But I think Washer is going to still have the lead. After, I guess, Jackson must have had a slower stop than Jackson did on that lap. So now that the field has cycled through pit stops and these cars might be able to make it the rest of the way, it depends on what their strategy is going to be. But we're going to take a look at a run through of the field as Chris Washer's your leader, second is Charles Jackson, and that's a lap down car of Kendall Maynard and David Rivera. Third is Anthony McCurry, fourth is Eric Burton now. Fifth is Austin Weiner. Sixth is Rue McIntyre. Seventh is Eric Enrage. Eighth is Seth Cole. Ninth is Biggie Spencer. 
10th is Alex Hawkins. 11th is Trent Dunham. 12th is Larry Hagan. 13th is Nick Pericles. 14th is Jesse Setti. All the way back to 15th after being in third for a little bit. Now she's in the back. In the 15th spot is Cassandra Renzi. 16th is Alex Pedro. 17th is Jessica Shelton. 18th, P.J. Williams. 19th is Kyle Matthews with the lap car of Cody Hagen. 20th, or 21st, is, oh, Dylan Thero, and he about got into Cody Hagen. That could have been bad. 22nd is Ryan Anderson, Jr. 23rd is Ian Dutta. 24th is Jordan Kolb. 25th is Sonny Hammond. 26th is Chase Oliver. 27th is Justin Talampas, 28th, Jekko Knight. 29th, Matt McIntyre. 30th is Jesse King. 31st is Brandon Nichols. 32nd is Ian Siegel. 33rd is Michael Walton. 34th is Henrietta Fitzwater. 34th, actually, is Gabe Williams. 35th is Dylan Young. 36th is Dylan, or, uh, or Ken Thero. 37th is Zachary Fitzwater, 38th Kendall Maynard, 39th David Rivera, and then 40th is Cody Hagen, who is around the back. Meanwhile, Washer still leads, and actually Charles Jackson is under attack a little bit from the lap car of Kendall Maynard. So while Jackson is having a hard time trying to multitask, trying to run down Washer, but also keep the 20 behind him. As on that last lap, Washer ran a 30 second, 32 second flat lap. Washer is actually a little bit faster than Jackson now. They must have done an adjustment on Washer. Meanwhile, Kendall Maynard is trying to get his lap back, or at least try to get around uh, the car that he needs to get around first before he gets to Washer. And I am been surprised that we have not had a caution come out since around lap 12 or so when Cody Lamas had his accident. Meanwhile, back here, Austin Weiner up to fourth trying to run down Anthony McCrory. And wow, look at the differences in the lap times. About six tenths faster Austin Weiner is compared to Anthony McCreary. He's actually f one of the fastest cars on the racetrack. In the fastest lap of the race, it's a three-way tie for fastest lap with P.J. Williams, Ian Siegel, and Larry Hagan. And actually that last lap before this one that Austin Weiner ran was the fourth fastest lap of the race. And now look at Weiner. He is running down Anthony McCreary for the third spot. Meanwhile, in that last lap, Charles Jackson was four hundredths of a second faster than Chris Washer. Though Kendall Maynard's pretty fast himself. Meanwhile, McCreary and Weiner just battling it out. And now here comes Weiner to the bottom to take the third spot away. From Anthony McCurry, and wow, look at the gap he established after all that. <laughs> and now Kendall Maynard still trying to get around Charles Jackson. I think if a caution comes out, Jackson and Washer might have to get worried about Austin Weiner because I think consistently within the last few laps since the pit stops have ended. Austin Weiner's been consistently been one of the fastest cars on the track, aside from Kendall Mayner, but I think as far as lead lap cars, Austin Weiner is the fastest right now, or at least one of the fastest, and he's up in the third spot, and he's hoping to maybe try and attempt to run down, at least run down Charles Jackson for second. Austin Weiner, we're going to keep an eye out on the margin we see among these top ten. Jackson's gained a little bit on Washer, and so too is Weiner, but Austin Weiner is about almost five seconds back from 
the leader, Chris Washer, so I don't know if there's enough time for him to get back up to the lead unless a caution came out, but we haven't had a caution come out in a long time. But meanwhile, nine laps to go here at Rockingham, UK for Chris Washer, and if he wins, this will be his sixth, sixth career Walmart Cup Series wins, so that will mean he will tie the all-time record with Jessica Shelton of six all-time Walmart Cup Series victories. Because he won four races in Season 1, he won one race last season, made the chase in both seasons. In fact, if I can recall, the only drivers who have made it in both chases in the first two seasons, I think, are only Chris Washer and Jessica Shelton, if I'm not mistaken. And in fact, I, and actually also Chase Oliver, too. Make that three drivers in the three in the two seasons we've had before Season 3 started of Walmart Cup Series. Washer, Shelton, and Oliver have been the only drivers to have been in both Chase for the Championships. Meanwhile, Washer, and actually Jackson's a little bit faster than Washer, but I don't know if there's enough time. Meanwhile, Anthony McCurry got bypassed by Biggie Spencer for the fourth spot. Meanwhile, Austin Weiner is still hoping to get to, at least get to Charles Jackson in order to get the second spot. And Austin Weiner, if a caution were to come out, he'd have a big opportunity to win the race, although he would have to hope for the caution to come out within this lap and the next lap if he's going to have a chance. Meanwhile, while we're at it, and actually Cody Hagen has now gotten bypassed, so this could be something big. But Washer actually got by him rather cleanly. Meanwhile, let's take a look at a run-through of how the field currently stands right now before the race is over. Chris Washer is your leader. Second is Charles Jackson. Third is Austin Weiner. Fourth is Biggie Spencer. Fifth is Anthony McCurry. Sixth is Eric Burden. Seventh is Rue McIntyre. Eighth is Larry Hagan. Ninth is Alex Hawkins. Tenth is Nick Pericles. Eleventh is Seth Cole. Twelfth is Jesse Setti. Thirteenth is Trent Dunham. Fourteenth is Jessica Shelton. Fifteenth is Eric and Rage. Sixteenth is PJ Williams. Seventeenth is Cassandra Renzi. Eighteenth is Alex Pedro. Nineteenth is Dylan Thero. Twentieth is Ian Siegel. Twenty-first is Jordan Culp. Twenty-second is Ryan Anderson Jr. 23rd is Kyle Matthews, 24th Justin Talampas, 25th is Matt McIntyre, 26th is Chase Oliver, 27th is Ian Dutta, 28th was Jesse King, now it's Eric or uh, Dylan Young, 30th is Henrietta Fitzwater, 31st is Brandon Nichols, 32nd is Sonny Hammond, 33rd is Gabe Williams, 34th is Jekko Knight, 35th is Michael Walden, 36th Ken Thero, 37th Zachary Fitzwater, 38th Kendall Maynard, and I would assume 39th is David Rivera, and 40th is Cody Hagen. And meanwhile, Austin Weiner has now caught Charles Jackson to potentially get the second, but he's got two laps to get the job done, and he's running a lot faster than Jackson. If he can time his moves right here in the next lap and a half, he will be able to get second. Though I think Chris Washer, it's safe to say he might have just won this race, but you never know what could happen. <coughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Kendall Maynard still working on Charles Jackson to get around him as them two have been battling it out. White flag is out. Here at Rockingham, UK, and Austin Weiner lost a little ground on Jackson that time for the second spot as he had to slow down to get through with Kendall Maynard. I don't know if Weiner's going to have the time to get up to get around Jackson, but here we go, entering turn three and getting ready to come off of turn number four. 
Chris Washer comes to the checkered flag, wins his first race of season three in his sixth career Walmart Cup Series win to tie the all-time record. Chris Washer wins the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. What a performance by that 24 team. He is showing that he is ready for a championship. And he is here to show that he is one of the best in NR 2003. What a job by Chris Washer. And ladies and gentlemen, let's actually, and actually there was somehow a battle for second and it was won by Austin Weiner somehow, but Chris Washer gets his sixth career Walmart Cup Series victory in the first of season three. Congratulations to Chris Washer. Austin Weiner somehow, some way managed to get around Charles Jackson for the second spot and Austin Weiner will finish second. Great job for him. Charles Jackson, I'd say if it wasn't for that last pit stop and getting having to battle with the lap car of Kendall Maynard, Charles Jackson could have had a chance to win this race. But still a great, solid third-place finish nonetheless. The highest... Excuse me, hold on. I had the hiccups for a second, but uh, the highest finishing rookie of the race was Biggie Spencer in the fourth spot. Solid run for that 36 team for Tommy Baldwin. Rounding out the top five was Anthony McCreary, and I think Anthony McCreary, depending on where Chase Oliver finished, actually, no, never mind. Anthony McCreary is actually going to be your new points leader heading into the next race, which I think is Las Vegas. But anyways, Eric Burden gets a solid 6th place finish. Alex Hawkins, great 7th place run. Nick Pericles, another rookie to finish up here. He comes away with 8th. Rue McIntyre gets a great ninth place finish. Rounding out the top 10 is Seth Cole. Great run for him. And the rest of the top 20 was Larry Hagan, Trent Dunham, uh... Jessica Shelton, Jesse Setti, Eric Enrage, P.J. Williams, Ian Siegel, Alex Pedro, Cassandra Renzi, and Dylan Thero. And the rest of the top 30 was Jordan Culp, Ryan Anderson Jr., Kyle Matthews, Justin Talampas, Chase Oliver, Ian Dutta, Matt McIntyre, Dylan Young, Henrietta Fitzwater, and Jesse King. The rest of the cars that finished on the lead lap was Brandon Nichols, Sonny Hammond, Gabe Williams, Jekko Knight, Michael Walton, Ken Thero, and Zachary Fitzwater. The next three cars finished the race, but were a lap or two down. Kendall Maynard, David Rivera, and Cody Hagen. Then the only two cars who were out of the race today were Cody Lamas and former points leader Michael Norman. So with that being said, I do believe that Anthony McCreary is going to be your new points leader heading into the next race, which uh, I need to take a look at the schedule one last time. Next race we run is Las Vegas, so that's going to be exciting. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for our coverage today of the England 400 at Rockingham, UK. Congratulations to Chris Washer for tying the all-time win record of six wins in Walmart Cup Series competition. We'll see you next week at Las Vegas as here are your rookie points, also your results, and regular points. But I found that instead shouldn't leave anything unsaid. I am gone. Who do I have to blame? No one. I just want to be someone. Hey man, what the fuck your opinion? I am through. Doesn't matter what I say or do. I'll never once be like you. It's about time that you knew. I am dead and reborn. So now you'll feel my scorn. Cause this storm is just a taste of all my hate. First, that I can't stand life. What? Well, allow me to explain my plight. Oh. Cause when I am alone at night, my imagination goes and takes okay. flight. Cause I hate it here, I hate it there, or I can't stand it anywhere. Oh. But oh. my biggest fear, I'll make it clear. Die in the know with nothing to share. Stuck in a job like the one I have. Oh. Makes me go absolutely mad. Mm. Good gone bad. That's the case. At first it was like